Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about Windows PowerShell versus the PowerShell Core. So, as I said uh, in the beginning of the introduction or in the previous lectures, there's a major difference between the Windows PowerShell and the PowerShell Core because the PowerShell Core, you can see here, it started from 6 and 7. That means the latest versions of 6 and 7. And if you look at here, 1 to 5.1, which is almost the end of uh, any of the future release of the Windows PowerShell, which is going to end with the 5.1 only. That means the upcoming, all the PowerShell is, uh, would be PowerShell code. So if you're a newcomer or if you're trying to learn the PowerShell, so just go ahead and learn the PowerShell code. Uh, but the world is already acquired with the latest uh, servers which are 2019 and 2016 and the latest uh, PowerShells which are, uh, I mean the products which are fully compatible in other way with the Windows PowerShell only. So it's a tough question if you ask me, should I go directly with the Windows PowerShell or with the PowerShell code? Oh, both are needed, uh, but you know, side by side, you eventually you have to uh, increase the learning and the utilizing the Windows uh, instead of the Windows PowerShell, increase to use the PowerShell core. And if you have any of the scripts that are already written on Windows PowerShell, that might need to be uh, taken a reconsideration to uh, have a look on to migrate to PowerShell core. The reason being, uh, if you can, you know, uh, look at the differences here. The versions uh, started from the 1.0 to 5.1, all the uh, falls under Windows PowerShell, and this only works, that's a major drawback. So this only works on Windows, whereas the PowerShell code works on Windows as well as the Linux and the Mac OS. In fact, you know, we have a different slide which talks about uh, all the different versions. For example, here you can look at uh, PowerShell code 6.0 also supports CentOS, Oracle Linux, and Debian, and Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, and different uh, Linuxes also it's going to support. And these are the major differences uh, or different operating systems that can support. Uh, the same thing, you know, it's going to add uh, different uh, operating systems in the future uh, for the 7 version, uh, which is going to release. Major difference uh, why the Windows PowerShell and PowerShell Core is completely different because the these are the different tools which are built on something. The something is nothing but here the .NET framework. And here if you look at, look at your .NET Core. So this .NET Core is open, uh, open for any of the operating systems and not just for the uh, Windows operating system. So it's not just limited to the Windows. It can build on or Linux or Unix or different uh, codes or different operating systems it can work. That's why it's called .NET Core and they are standardizing uh, .NET Core version to 3.1 in the 7 uh, which is currently .NET 2.0 because the .NET 3.1 core is the future. Uh, as I said, you know, PowerShell core, however, it is, um, I mean, it, it just falls on the life cycle of .NET 3.1 uh, core, uh, which I'm going to talk in the upcoming slides. But for now, you should be understanding that the Windows PowerShell was built on .NET framework as a base. And uh, here, PowerShell core is built on .NET core, which is uh, open uh, for any uh, other operating system it's not just the windows that's why uh, it was uh, it could work on different operating systems and if you look at here if you're trying to launch the PowerShell script uh, in the background it's going to use powershell.exe in the windows PowerShell but uh, with the PowerShell core uh, it's going to be PWSH on windows but uh, on a shell it would be PW uh, as such uh, as the shell it's gonna run uh, the uh, the execution gonna happen on Mac OS in the lines and different various operating systems so these are the major difference so if you are uh, trying to work with uh, PowerShell on a Windows operating system it might be uh, with, with the Windows firewall of uh, Windows uh, I'm sorry with the Windows PowerShell in that situation it's gonna use the uh, PowerShell.exe but if it is the PowerShell core it's going to be used PW as such as a command and you can uh, check for the uh, uh, PS version table. This is one of the command uh, which gives you the uh, versioning information uh, from that specific uh, machine. So the output comes from the uh, desktop and here it comes to the core and the future updates are this is very critical and important that's why I said the future is PowerShell core. The reason is if you look at here for Windows PowerShell Microsoft gonna support only bug fixes and the security updates, but not the feature updates. If you look at here with the 
PowerShell code you do have here uh, feature updates. That means any of the new features which are going to uh, come up, it's not going to be added to the Windows PowerShell. So that's what uh, major uh, challenge or that's where we have to consider to learn PowerShell core in the future. Let's have a look on uh, current uh, PowerShell uh, 7, uh, that's a core 7 roadmap. The biggest immediate change would be the uh, it's moving from the .NET 3.0 or oh, sorry .NET uh, uh, .NET Core 2.1 to 3.0. That's a major different uh, change which is going to happen with the PowerShell 7 as a roadmap and PowerShell uh, 7 is already available as a cross platform and it can be you can be downloaded and you can be installed as a public preview as on recording of this uh, 2019 November and uh, we can expect uh, very soon the 7 release and the PowerShell 7 is a uh, core essential becoming is a uh, PowerShell to just to learn because uh, it's going to be the future uh, of any of the feature releases and other things and it's going to fully assign with the LTS which is we also call as a long-term service uh, so that is uh, as long as it's supported with the uh, .NET Core 3.1 supported that's a major uh, information or major change uh, which is going to happen on the uh, .NET 7 roadmap and also uh, one more uh, main goal of the PowerShell 7, uh, 7 is going to be no available replacement of Windows uh, PowerShell which is a 5.1 in the production as I said in the one of the uh, a point uh, if you have already working PowerShell scripts you may have to consider to uh, check the compatibility with the upcoming uh, PowerShell 7 so that's going to be a uh, future um, so you need to know consider and the that's why Microsoft is uh, planning to replace the Windows PowerShell 5.1 which is in the current production service uh, which will be replaced with the 7 in the future uh, releases Microsoft team has been already done a lot of you know changes and they have uh, keenly you know progressed to reach to uh, do all these changes uh, and we may expect very soon with the Windows PowerShell uh, 7 anytime soon uh, to learn more about the PowerShell Core versus the PowerShell, uh, we need to know, look at the PowerShell Core is more than just the next version of the PowerShell as a summary and that's uh, has that, that that's a point we need to take out, out of this lecture. And to make it more uh, clear on PowerShell Core, PowerShell Core is a free, uh, free open source. That means anybody can use uh, without, uh, it's not just the Windows, right? So it's it's the freely available from the Git, uh, GitHub repository you can use uh, and you can develop out of that and you can use that open source version of the PowerShell uh, and you can use your automation and you can use the configuration management tools which are built on .NET Core which we talked earlier uh, and that can run on Windows as well as the Linux and Mac systems. And the next point would be the PowerShell Core features the uh, CLI or shall we call it sometime or command line interface along with an uh, extensive uh, scripting language uh, which uh, you can use on Linux or any other non-Microsoft operating systems. And Microsoft PowerShell Core runs on the open source as I said and uh, it's it's a cross platform for the .NET Core so .NET Core is the uh, uh, open source or open environment uh, which runs on uh, this PowerShell on top of .NET Core so as long as the .NET Core is available PowerShell can run on any of the machines so uh, the Windows version PowerShell only runs on the .NET framework that's the key outcome of this uh, lecture and Microsoft uh, also released the PowerShell Core uh, in the August uh, 2016 as an alpha, later by followed by uh, 2017 May as beta. And uh, next uh, point would be the uh, PowerShell uh, supports definitely the importing or exporting the common structures which are JSON and XML uh, options. As the next point would be that you can download this PowerShell code directly from the GitHub repository for different operating systems which we are going to uh, learn in the upcoming lectures. And uh, Microsoft uh, already uh, committed that uh, they are not going to release any kind of feature updates for Windows PowerShell that's what they said and uh, Windows PowerShell is not going to be the future right uh, the only 
the feature would be the PowerShell Core, which is a version 6 and 7, and the 7 is the already announced uh, and which will have which will have the feature updates and the bug fixes as well as the security updates. So you all covered with the PowerShell core, but not the case with the Windows PowerShell. So in the future, you might have to consider to learn PowerShell code. That's a key. And uh, thank you for watching this and the, uh, see you in the next lecture.